All right, guys. So if I'm going to solve this first inequality, tell me, what's the first thing I'm doing with this one? I said tell me, but you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to add 6 to both sides, just like I normally would if that was an equal sign. So I get 2x is less than 24 and 6 is 30. Okay, now what would I do? Ethan. Divide what number goes down here? Two. Yes, divide both sides by 2. So now I get x is less than 15. Okay? I told you you didn't have to put these on the number line, but if I asked you to, you would all know how? Yeah. What kind of a dot? Open. Open, right. And then shade to the? To the left. Okay, so there's number 1. Let's check out number 2 here. So I give you this, and let's see. What would the first thing be that I have to do? Not here. Kayla, what's the first thing you do on number two here? You would multiply four on this side. Correct. Multiply both sides by four. So that's now going to get me an x minus three is greater than or equal to 10 times four is 40. And then I would do what, Aiden? Add 3. That's it. Add 3. Add 3. X greater than or equal to 43. Do so you know what you did? I multiplied both sides by 4. Yeah, you're supposed to. I did 4X plus minus 12. Oh. When you multiplied this side by 4, though, these cancel. Oh, yeah, because it's the number. Right, right. So you're just left with the X minus 3. Okay. Let's look at the third one. I gave you this. So what would you do first, Alexis? Add 3 Perfect. Add the 5, add the 5. So now I have negative x. Do I flip this symbol? Nope. Yeah. No, not yet. I didn't, I didn't multiply or divide by a negative yet. But now I have negative 11 is greater than or equal to 11. I mean, negative x is greater than or equal to 11. I need positive x. So how do I get that? Brenna, how do I turn this into a positive x? Devin's going to help you. Go ahead. Can you multiply both of them by 1x? Mm. That 1x, I meant um, negative 1. Yeah. If you multiply or divide both sides by negative 1, that'll turn that positive. Right? So usually I like to divide. So if I divide both sides by a negative 1, now I have a positive x, but what happens with this? Flip it over. And now I have 11 divided by negative 1, negative 11. I'm sorry. So there's your answer for that one. And then the last one I asked you to do, this one here, number 4. What is the first thing that I do on this one, Joe W.? Yes, subtract that 2 from both sides. So now I have x over 3 is greater than 6. And then I'm almost done. All I have to do is what, Cohen? Perfect. Multiply both sides by 3. And I'm done. Is this all right? Okay.